Hello guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, your boy. I am here with another book mail video. Yeah, everyone stand up and cheer. Um, yes, I am in my bed. I am tired and about to take a nap, but I thought, well, I'll check and see if I got anything in the mail. And lo and behold, I got stuff in the mail. So, we are going to talk about that stuff. And yeah. Um, I did already shoot um, a quick video for some a book that I got. Uh, I'm probably not going to use that video, so I'm just going to re-talk about the book. About, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Let's hop into it, shall we? And starting with the book I was just talking about. Ozzy Sickos. From my boy, Simon McCarty. McCarty, hmm. Sounds like Bacardi. Bacardi, hmm. There's a rapper named Cardi B. Hmm. Simon McCarty, Cardi B. They are the same. <sighs> Anyways, um, what this book is about. Uh, well, Ozzy Sickos, well, let's uh, read the back, shall we? Caleb Botha has idolized his murderous uncle red all his life now in his 20s and with no prospects he and his idiot brother sonny decide they want to be infamous too together they set off across the outback on a killing spree that caleb hopes will rival even that of his legendary uncle if there is one thing caleb has learned from the whispered tales of uncle red's legacy it is that there is more to killing than just the body count. To truly leave your mark and be remembered, each kill must be carried out in a manner more hilarious and sadistic than the last. The boys have their work cut out for them, and they're determined to make Uncle Red proud by taking up the mantle and becoming the next generation of true Aussie sickos. And like I said before, I love the art, I love the font, I love everything about this cover. I might be a little too gory for YouTube, but we'll we'll see. Um uh, yes, um I reached out to Simon McCarty and uh, I was going to buy a signed copy, then all of a sudden I had a spontaneous thought where I was like, isn't he from like Australia or at least the other side of the world? And uh yeah, so um I couldn't get a signed copy, but I did the next best thing. Ozzy Sickos by Simon McCarty. All right. So for the next book I got, um, so the next book I got is by Clyde Barker. It's called The Damnation Game. Pretty good, no breaks in the spine. Uh, this looks like a beautiful book that I can destroy. Um, so what is The Damnation Game, you may ask? Well, let me read the back for you, shall I? There are things worse than death. There are games so seductively evil, so wondrously vile, no gambler can resist. Amid the shadow-scarred rubble of World War II, Joseph Whitehead dared to challenge the dark champion of life's ultimate game. Now a millionaire, locked in a terror-shrouded fortress of his own design, Joseph Whitehead has hell to pay. And no soul is safe from the ravaging fear, the resurrected fury, the unspeakable depths of the damnation game. That is Clyde Barker's damnation game. And speaking of damnation game, it says right there that Clyde Barker is the author of the books of blood. And that kind of segues into the next thing. Uh, it's a bookmark I got from, well, I should probably shout out the thing here. It's from, um, NW Reader. She also is, um, uh, I wish I knew what that said. True Born Design, I think it says. I could be wrong though. I'll shout out, I'll, I'll link their Etsy account or um, Etsy page in the uh, description. She says, Nick, thank you for the support. I hope you like the Candyman bookmark, smiley face. Sincerely, NW Reader. So, yep. And the bookmark I got is in this plastic bag that I forgot to take it out of. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand because I don't feel like turning off the camera. And I did it because I'm so talented. 
So the bookmark I got is of Candyman, and it says, say my name. Say my name, say my name. No one is around you. Candy, candy man. But yeah, it, it's a, say my name, candy man. It has this wonderful tassel, and if you look right very closely at the uh, little pendant it has, it's a bee. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. I, I saw that they were sold out of the tassels with the bee on them. And I immediately contacted them like, um, I really want this, but I would like the version with the B. And she said, oh yeah, I'll just refill it and blah, blah, blah. You know, and here we are. Um, so, uh, thank you so much, NW Reader. I appreciate this a bunch, like bunches. And, um, yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to put this in my, my, uh, Damnation Game book. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Aussie Sickos, is, it could very well be my next read. Um, I'm doing an audio book at the moment, and then I'm doing uh, a physical book. A Gift of Death is what I'm reading. Uh, what I'm listening to is Rob Shepard's uh, Friends Like Us. And I'm having a great time reading, and I'm going to go probably read or take a nap right now. So, hold the phone. There is more. So, yeah, I got more book mail. Um, it was spontaneous, but I didn't expect to get it today, but I got it today. So I'm going to put this at the end of the uh, video and uh, maybe edit it or something. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Chills by Rick Hatala. So there's no synopsis. This is a Cemetery Dance Edition. Those are lampposts, and then these are some zombie-looking things. And uh, Rick Atala wrote The Little Brothers, which is, uh, I often forget it's a, it's sort of a coming of age story. It, it, it was really good. So, yeah, uh, I had to get this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got purple pages. And uh, it's got a signature. That's upside down, but there's a skull with the signature on it. It says, we don't like it here. And it says, chills. Boom. And uh, I don't think this is like illustrated or anything, but uh, I will quickly, yeah, it doesn't look like it's illustrated or anything. Yeah, unfortunately, Rick Atala's passed away, um, but he did leave a pretty nice bibliography when he did. Um, let me see here. Okay, there is a inside flap uh, synopsis, so let's read that. A blizzard is slamming into Vermont, but it doesn't matter to Meg Clark. She knows she'll be trapped in her music store in the shopping mall overnight with a small crew of her employees doing the one final inventory. But after they're locked in for the night, they realize this isn't a normal winter storm. Ghastly faces appear in the store windows and disappear in a swirl of wind blown snow. Dark, mysterious figures loom in and out of sight in the darkened corridors of the mall. Ghostly voices shriek inside the howling blasts of winter wind. Soon, Meg and the others are besieged by something too terrifying to imagine. Before the night is over, a terrible secret from Meg's past will come back to haunt her, and the group's only chance to survive will be to go out into the raging storm that's really that that's trying to kill them and then there might be something on the back flap maybe about the author wow okay never mind there yeah this is about uh about the author so yeah and um i don't know what color it is without it oh it looks so pretty it says chills that's so cool oh man it's so pretty oh it's such a pretty book but uh, yeah, I got this for pretty cheap on eBay. Um, I cracked a deal with the guy and I got it. So that's Chills by Rick Atala. Um, yeah, it, it sounds super cool and super uh, chill, if you will. And uh, yeah, um, I love the cover. It's just amazing. And uh, yeah. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. 
and uh, yeah uh, hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next video peace out guys